Hey Lifestyle, it's LaShawn. If you just found my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you for returning and uh, supporting my channel, LaShawn's Lifestyle. I truly, truly uh, appreciate you watching the ads and clicking and subscribing and everything. Totally appreciate everything that you all do to help me out with my channel. So today's video is my allocation for paycheck number two. So let's go ahead and get into what I will be uh, paying, uh, paying off. So super excited about um, getting this budget planned out. So keep watching. I'm in the September section of my planner and the budget stickers are from Uniquely Sean. I have her linked below her Etsy shop. If you are interested in any of her products, um, she provides for uh, your planners, budget planner, plan planners, life planners, all that good stuff. So check her out. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to be utilizing the Paper Make Ink Joy, Ink Joy, um, regular ballpoint, um, not the gel. So I'm going to tilt this a little bit. And I hope that's not too irritating, but <laughs> I can't write straight on. So yeah. All right, so my income, of course, will be coming from my main job, my nine to five, and I am expect, uh, the date I'm expecting that is on the 15th of September. And the amount that I'm gonna be budgeting is for $3,000. And I normally do a manifestation line but I also needed another line and I put my stickers down before I was looking at my notes and realized that I needed that additional line for my rollover. So I'm just going to do rollover and the universe, the multiverse already knows that I'm always manifesting. I do that every morning. So my rollover is already doesn't need a date that I'm rolling over my remainder from paycheck number one. So the rollover amount that I'm putting down is $100.66, and that was from paycheck two. So I'm just gonna go rollover, I mean from paycheck one, put that there. All right. So next, we're gonna go ahead, and so I'm gonna be um, budgeting off a total of $3,100.66 with this paycheck. So I already did my header for my bills and expenses. So let's go ahead and jump um, right into those. Okay, so first we have household transfer. And that is for those of you who are new, I have another account where I pay strictly the house bills, the household bills, and that's just the four walls. Um, mortgage, utilities, food, that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm hoping that I can incorporate at least the budget plan for that just for, um, I'm trying to figure out how to work it into my schedule, my filming schedule, but yeah, I wanna do that too so you guys can kind of see what I do with those funds as well. So that will transfer on the 15th. And the amount that I put over to that account is $1,270.50. Then I'll have my cell phone that I have to pay. And that is due on the 15th as well. In the amount of $82.35. Then I have, um, and this is automated. Then I have um, BBVA Compass. This is a personal loan. And this is due on the 15th as well, and this is automatic. And 
I paid seven fifteen fifty three on this. Next is Netflix, and Netflix is automatic. It hits the credit card that I paid off, so I just take this money that I budget and put it towards that credit card. So that's due. It will hit on the seventeenth. In the amount of $13.98. Then I have um, BPAS, and this is my current debt snowball that I will be paying off with this paycheck. So I am super duper stoked about that. But I do pay first the minimum payment, which is $139, and that comes out automatically. And then um, I'll put what the amount I've calculated for my debt snowball, I'll put that additional uh, payment towards it. I'll pay manually. So um, then I have my um, student loan A. And I am, I know we have till now they extended it to the the for uh barons and for um non accrual to the end of the year but i'll continue to pay what i have been paying towards the student loan monthly because i want to get that balance down as much as i can before the uh period ends and they start accruing the interest um on the balance due so I put $35 to student loan A and then to student loan B. That one is due on the 23rd and I put $75 towards that. Then last is my car insurance. And this I'm going to start, this is automatic. I'm gonna start a sinking fund at the beginning of the year. What I want to do is save up enough where I can just pay it off every six months and I have to worry about it monthly and save a couple of bucks. Cause I think they charge me like, you know, like a couple of bucks for doing, you know, payments. So definitely wanna save some cash. Every buck saved is a buck earned, so. That is due on the 23rd as well, and that is for $154.83. So that is all I have for bills and expenses. So I'm going to go ahead and total those up. And that comes out to, I did it off camera, so um, that is $2,400. $86.19 that um, my bills and expenses come out to. So now I have for my variable, the only variable I have for this paycheck um, is my, and I'm gonna just do a little line here. And that is my debt snowball because I am not sinking funds in the, for categories this paycheck because I wanna pay off the BPAS. So I had to sacrifice my sinking funds for this month, this paycheck. I did sink funds the first paycheck, but I'm not gonna sink funds this one. So my debt snowball amount is going to be 500, it's so only right here, budget, budgeted. So, take that one over. So, I'm budgeting $563, and that is to pay off my BPAS, and I wanna highlight that, because that is the focus for this paycheck is to pay this off. And that is a personal loan that will be gone. Okay, so that is my, that is all that I have going on with this paycheck. So let's go ahead and 
get the tally here. So we have that, the $3,000 plus the 166 give me, gives me the $3,100.66. We're going to take away the bills and expenses of $2,486.19. And we're going to take away the 563 dead snowball. So that leaves me a remaining of $51.47. So we're going to write remaining. And that is $51.47. And uh, what I want to do with that is... I think I planned that out for the month, so I gotta look back. Sorry, guys, gotta flip real quick. Let's see what I said I was going to do. All right, so I'm gonna do $50 to savings, and so $50 to savings, and a dollar forty seven to my do what I want account. So that will give me a zero base budget for this paycheck. So that is what it is looking like for now. Um, I am super duper happy that I get to pay off another debt that's just so awesome. So once this is paid off, I will be down to, I believe it'll be my um, American Express Gold account and then another personal loan, my BBVA Compass, and then my two student loans. So yeah, so it's moving right along. I'm super stoked. So if you've lasted this long, thank you for following my journey. It's just wow I'm just so amazed it's just so amazing what you can accomplish when you put your mind to it and you stay committed to what you want to do what you've planned out you know you could have some hiccups along the way but as long as you just keep it going you know don't let it hinder you keep you sidetracked or you stay down on the ground you know get up and keep it moving so yeah so if you've lasted this long in this video thank you so so much you are a lifestyler i appreciate you and if you haven't done so already and you've been watching please subscribe to my channel click that notification bell so you know when i upload and like and comment if you have any questions or just want to give me some encouraging words and i hope this video has been encouraging and motivational for you to get your financial journey uh, straight. And if it is, um, hopefully soon I, we can start talking about like investing <laughs> when I get rid of this debt. So yeah, so thank you so much. And until my next video, hugs and love. Bye.